Hi students, we have done some questions in the inverse D functions in the first part. Now we are going to do some more questions which was important and asked in the previous year's examinations. Let us discuss some questions. The first question is the value of sin inverse sin minus 17 pi by 8 which was asked in the 2020 CBC board exam. We know that sin inverse sin x is x if x lies in between minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 because sin inverse x, tan inverse x and cosine inverse x these functions lies in between minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 that is in the first and the fourth quadrant and cos inverse x, sec inverse x and cot inverse x are lying in between 0 and pi that is in first and uh, second quadrant, is it? Here, this question can be written as sin inverse sin minus of 2 pi plus pi by 8. Now, sin minus 8, sin minus 8 is minus sin so it becomes sin inverse minus of sin 2 pi plus pi by 8 isn't it sin 2 pi plus theta comes in the first quadrant that is sin sin inverse minus sin pi by 8 sin 2 pi plus theta is sin d Is equal to sin theta because it comes in the first quadrant. Sin inverse minus x. Now no result. Sin inverse minus x minus sin inverse x. So sin inverse minus x minus sin inverse x. X is sin by eight. Now we can eliminate sin inverse sin since pi by 8 is tended to be b which is in first quadrant. So minus pi by 8 that is an element in between minus pi by 8 to and uh, plus pi by 8. So this is the value of sin inverse sin 17 pi by 8. Is it? Next question is sin inverse on minus x plus 2 sin inverse x is equal to pi by 8 here it can be written as sin inverse on minus x is pi by 2 minus 2 sin inverse x now apply sin on both sides sin sin inverse on minus x is equal to sin pi by 2 minus 2 sin inverse x sin inverse sin or sin sin inverse x is 1 minus x which is equal to sin 90 minus theta cos theta instead of theta 2 sin inverse x now cos 2 theta is equal to cos 2 theta 1 minus 2 sin square of theta here theta is sin inverse x, so it becomes 1 minus 2 sin square instead of theta by sin inverse x. Now 1 minus 2 sin sin inverse x the whole square, but sin sin inverse x is 1 x sin sin inverse x is equal to x. So it becomes 1 minus 2 
into x square x square x square here 1 minus x is this 1 and 1 they cancel minus and minus they cancel now x is equal to 2x square or 2x square is equal to 2x square minus x is equal to 0 x into 2 minus 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 so x is equal to 0 which implies that x is equal to 0 or 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 so 2x of is equal to 1 therefore x is equal to 1 by 2 here we have two values for x x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 this question is also master in the 2024 examination isn't it next question is find the value of tan inverse Two cos two sine inverse one by two. Find the value of this function. Now we know that sine inverse one by two is tan inverse two cos two sine inverse one by two is pi by six. Sin inverse 1 by 2, pi by 6. Now, tan inverse 2 cos pi by 3. 2 and 6 get cancelled, pi by 3. Now, tan inverse 2 cos pi by 3 is again 1 by 2. That is tan inverse 1. Tan inverse 1 is pi by 4. So, the value of this function is pi by 4, isn't it? tan find the log value of tan 1 by 2 into sin inverse 2x by 1 plus x square plus cos inverse 1 minus y square by 1 plus y square find the log value of this function here if we put x is equal to tan theta, put x is equal to tan theta, that is 2x by 1 plus x square becomes 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta, that is uh, tan 2, sin 2 theta, sorry, sin 2 theta. And uh, if you put y is equal to put y is equal to again tan theta, we have 1 minus uh, y square by 1 plus y square. 1 minus tan square theta divided by 1 plus tan square theta, which is equal to cos 2 theta. Now we can apply these values here. That is tan half into sin inverse sin 2 theta plus cos inverse cos 2 phi here you can take another variable and is phi now tan square phi and then cos 2 phi so it becomes cos 2 phi Sin inverse, sin inverse, inverse, cos get cancelled. Now tan 1 by 2 into 2 theta plus 2 theta. So there is tan, if we take one to outside, theta plus phi. That is tan theta plus but theta is tan inverse x and phi is tan inverse y. That is tan tan inverse x plus tan inverse y. But we know that tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is that 
is tan tan inverse x plus y one one minus x one. This is a standard form. So we can eliminate these two. So the answer is x plus y one one minus x one. This is the value of the function tan half into sin inverse to x square minus x square plus cos inverse minus x y square by one plus y square. Isn't it? Next question is if tan inverse x minus one by x minus two plus tan inverse x plus one by x plus two is equal to pi by four find x. Find x. For this question, can we ask that solve for x if tan inverse this plus tan inverse this is equal to pi by four, isn't it? We know that tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse x of minus y by One plus x into x minus y by one plus x. Expression can be written as tan inverse x plus y. X is x minus one by x minus two plus x plus one by x plus two divided by one minus X minus one by x minus two into x minus x plus one by x plus two, isn't it? According to this formula. Now here, cross multiplying, we have this is equal to pi by four. Now this tan inverse becomes tan, and uh, cross multiplying we have x minus one. Into x plus two plus x minus two into x plus one divided by. Here we have a denominator. Here also the denominator. Both denominators will get cancelled. Here x minus two into x plus two into one. X minus two into x plus two minus x minus one into x minus x plus one. Here also we get a denominator, the, this denominator and uh, this denominator get cancelled. Here it becomes tan by the four. Now remove the bracket x square plus two x minus x minus two plus. Here x square plus x minus two x and minus two. That divided by a plus b in the a minus b a square minus b square a square minus b square. One square is for itself. Here tan by the four is four. Two x square minus two x minus x plus x. X square plus x square, two x square minus two minus two minus four divided by here x square minus x square get cancelled minus four plus one is equal to one two x square minus four is equal to one into minus three. That becomes minus three. Two x square is equal to minus three plus four. That is one. Therefore, x square is equal to one by two. X is equal to plus or minus one by two. This is the answer. The value of x is plus or minus one by two. Is it? This is an important question. Sometimes it will be asked in the examination. Next question is prove that 
जो साइन इनवर्स कई बाई फाइव इज इक्वल टू टैन इनवर्स ट्वेंटी फोर बाई सेवन साइन इनवर्स कई बाई फाइव थ्री फाइव एंड फोर आर कंप्लेक्स सो साइन इनवर्स थ्री बाई फाइव is same as cos inverse four by five is same as tan inverse three by four, isn't it? If uh, here we have three and five, three, five and four are triplets, Pythagorean triplets. So if sin inverse three by five, then cos inverse four by five, and tan inverse three by four, tan inverse three by four. Unit. LHS is equal to two sine inverse three by five. Sine inverse three by five is equal to tan inverse three by four. So two into tan inverse three by four. Now we have two tan inverse x is tan inverse two x by one minus x by. Two tan inverse x is tan inverse two x by two into three by four by one minus three by four the whole square, isn't it? That is tan inverse three by two divided by one minus nine by sixteen. That is tan inverse three by two divided by sixteen minus nine seven by sixteen. Sixteen minus nine seven by sixteen. That is tan inverse three by two into sixteen by seven. So tan inverse. Twenty-four by seven, which is answers, isn't it? Similarly, we can go two sine inverse three by four is equal to tan inverse twenty-four by seven. Okay. Next question is from that tan inverse sixty-three by sixteen is it? Sine inverse five by thirteen. Plus cos inverse three by five. So we have the arcs is equal to the arcs is sine inverse three by five. Cos inverse sine inverse five by five. Cos inverse three by five. Now we know that five are thirteen and twelve are thirteen. So we can write sine inverse three by sine inverse five by thirteen is equal to cos inverse twelve by thirteen is equal to tan inverse five by twelve. Three. Four and five are complex. So cos inverse three by five is same as sine inverse four by five is same as tan inverse numerator of sine by numerator of cos that is four by three. This is cos inverse three by five. So here tan inverse five by twelve. Plus tan inverse four by three. Now tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is tan inverse five by twelve plus four by three divided by one minus five by twelve into four by three. So it becomes tan inverse fifteen. Plus forty-eight cross multiply divided by thirty-six whole divided by 
1 into part 6 part 6 minus 20 divided by part 6 here part 6 and uh, part 6 get cancelled now we have planning goes 48 plus 15 63 by 36 minus 20 that is 16 this is LXS isn't it the Pythagorean triplex and the functions are using the triplex is very necessary for doing these questions next question is for that planning goes Root x is equal to half into cosine goes 1 minus x by 1 plus x. Here, when we take Rx, Rx is equal to half into cosine goes 1 minus x by 1 plus x. Here we put x is equal to tan square theta half into cos inverse 1 minus tan square theta by 1 plus tan square theta. I got the two relations, especially multiple some multiple angles and some difference formula. Now cos inverse 1 minus tan square. 1 minus tan square theta by 1 plus tan square theta is cos inverse cos 2 theta. Here 1 minus tan square theta cos inverse cos 2 theta. Here cos inverse cos becomes 1, 2 theta, so it becomes theta. But here we put x is equal to tan square theta. So root x is equal to tan theta. And uh, tan goes from x is equal to theta. So instead of theta, by tan goes from x. This is the LXS. Isn't it? This way we can go this function. Now another question is for that. Cotton goes. 1 plus sin x root of that minus root of 1 minus sin x by root of 1 plus sin x plus root 1 minus sin x is equal to x by 2. Here we use two formula. Here we use two formulas. One is 1 plus sin x is cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 the whole square. So root of 1 plus sin x, root of 1 plus sin x is root of this. So we get cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2. Similarly, 1 minus sin x is cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 the whole square and uh, root of the function is root of this function is again we get cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 isn't it now substituting here here lxs is equal to cotton goes Instead of this function write cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 minus cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2. Here minus is common. Similarly, cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 plus cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2. Isn't it? Here, cos x by 2, cos x by 2 get cancelled. Sin x by 2, sin x by 2. Now, sin x by 2 plus sin x by 2. 2 sin x by 2. Cos x by 
by 2 plus cos x by 2 to cos x by 2. So, cotton was here tan x by 2. Here the question, here the answer is pi by 2 minus x by 2. By 2 minus x by 2 is the answer. So, tan x by 2 can be written as cot 10 was cot pi by 2 minus x by 2. Isn't it? Now, cot 10 was cot get cancelled. We get pi by 2 minus x by 2. This is our answer. Suppose this question is asked like this. So that cot 10 goes this. Here if you if positive is in the numerator, negative in the denominator, then the answer is x by 2. Here substitutions are same. Here it becomes positive. And uh, here it becomes negative. So put a minus here. Now cos x by 2 and minus cos x by 2, sin x by 2, sin x by 2 get cancelled. Now the question becomes cot goes cos x by 2 plus cos x by 2 to cos x by 2 by 2 sin x by 2, sin x by 2 minus in the minus 2 sin x by 2. So here Cot in was cot x by 2 and the answer is x by 2. This is another question. Similarly, this question will also be asked like tan in was this. Similarly, tan in was here negative and here positive. There are four questions. These are some of the important questions you have to practice. In the next session, we will discuss some important and hot questions and CBSC and state previously asked the questions.